hi everyone and welcome to another youtube video and today's video is going to be like a continuation to the previous video where i actually started the concept of descriptive analysis or descriptive statistics uh in the last video i talked about the concept of the measure of central tendency and the measure of dispersion you can actually check that video out before you actually you know watch this one if there is a need for you to so in today's video we are going to be talking about data visualization and uh it's actually very simple to uh you know visualize your data set in spss all you have to do is to come to graphs uh once you come to graphs, you're going to be seeing this chart builder and uh, it brings us this dialogue that have those you know bar line chart area couple of data views tools that you know you're familiar with and each of them has variation for example the bar chart has a single bar chart it has a uh, a multiple bar chart or a grouped bar chart it has a um, you know a stacked bar chart and all of those types of version of bar chart you come to the line chart you see the same thing you come to the area chart you see the same thing so each of those two right here have their corresponding variations now i'll still come back to this but then i i want to mention something so spss has a thing of when you're trying to perform some analysis it can actually automatically create uh like some graphs for you like some visualizations for elastic for example i come to analyze i come to descriptive then i come to frequency okay so let me try to pick something let's say four type okay so if i come to the chart you see like chart here so for you to analyze the frequency of the whole data of this variable rather you're going to be seeing like three charts so it can plot a bar chart for you, you can plot a pie chart for you and it can also plot the histogram so once you just click on the bar chart continue and you click on ok it's going to automatically you know first of all analyze the frequency for you oh so for this car data set uh 9.8 percent are using diesel and at 90.2 percent are actually using gas and this is like a simple bar chart you know to actually um visualize just this diesel and four but you can actually do this in the graph section so let's go back to our data set so let's come to uh graphs charts builder and then before you use any data visualization tool you have to know the type of data sets that you have some visualization tool can be used to analyze just a single variable some can be used to analyze uh two variables at the same time we call that by variable analysis some can only work on categorical variables that is variables that cannot take a numerical value such as the bar chart and the pie chart some can be used to like analyze numerical variables we have the scatter plot we have the histogram so each of this uh, data views tools right here actually have uh, the conditions in which they can actually work the type of data sets in which they can actually work with the scale of data sets that your data sets need to be for them to actually work so i actually have a video that is talking about all of this maybe not all of them but couple of this um, data views tool and when to use them and how to use them so you actually need to understand each of them before using them so i'll also be linking that video in the top right corner uh, you can check that out in fact it's a playlist of like i think six or five data views too yeah six five of them so it's going to help you to know when to use them and why to use them so um let's start with the bar chart okay so let's just you, you can drag this right here okay or you can double click on it and it comes here so obviously your bar chart is basically used to visualize um categorical variables variables that cannot take a numerical value so something like car name you know drive rule engine location and stuff like that so let's take car name so once you click on the car name you can just drag it to the x as x okay so you bring your car name to the x axis then uh, you can see right here we can see count so it's like should i count the number of those categories or if you come right here you can actually change what you want to have on the vertical axis meaning oh number you range the percentage or the number greater or you might actually go as far as visualizing the uh, the mean that is the average number of each of the categories against the car name so count is actually better right here because how many um cars are actually uh in the first in the first category in the second and in the third so you can just keep it in count and we are good to go so another thing chat appearance you can still edit this later options not included we really don't need it so you can just go through it and then just pick anything that suits you so this is the elements property so if you 
click on this it collapses that and you can also click on it to just bring this out so um the basic elements you can choose the axis either the x axis the y axis you know all of those are just details that you can just pay attention to read through it and just pick what suits you it's just basic so come back here once you are satisfied with everything you need to do so you can just click on ok and uh you see it's actually kind of like uh give us the simple badges for the canon we have a whole lot of them and then you can double click on this and edit you can hide the grid lines you can you know you can uh change this name you can edit this excuse me you can edit this you can change this you know you can just play around this you can add the tick you can double click to add ticks and you know just edit your bars and do some other stuff so that is that about that you can also so let me just end this you can also do the same thing for uh let's say you can drag this out and let's say something around let's say car body so the car body is here so this is count and uh, we click on OK. And as you can see, we have convertible, we have hard top, we have hatchback, we have sedan, and we have a wagon. So this is just your bar chart. It works like that. Now, if you want to visualize um two categorical variables, so that's your multiple bar chart, you can just double click on this. So you can have your car body. So we have our car body right here. Once you click on the multiple bar chart or the component bar chart, you have cluster on X set. So what you want to cluster you can just come right here and let's say the car engine okay or let's yeah car engine should work fine excuse me all right so let's just put this right here all right once you do that you see it creates this um a preview if i can use that word and once you click on okay you can see this already and you can also double click and edit your you know edit it the way you want to do you can edit this name you know you can also edit this and just you can say um this is a grouped bar chart excuse me so that's engine type versus and then that's this you can also remove the grid line so you just play around us it's just something very simple you can also plot a pie chart so we click on pie and you drag it here okay so you, you can plot a pie chart for the car body or counts also you can use counts or percentages right here you can use percentage or exactly you can use sum. you can use value so let's try percentage right here with using counts since. so and uh, you click on okay and uh, this is it you double click and uh, there's an there's an option to actually show you the percentages okay data label mode you click on this and once you click it shows you the percentages click on this click on this click on this and then click on this so it gives you the percentage you can also edit the color and any details that you actually want to work on so let's talk about uh the other ones so we have a uh, chart builder uh, the scatter plot is basically used to visualize two numerical variables so I can drag that here so we need two numerical variables so car body won't be used here it has to be something around let's say the car height and uh, on the y-axis we have like uh, the car width so two numerical variables also it can be based on the main median you know all of this so if I click on ok you see I have a scatter plot and on your scatter plot you can also edit you can add interpolation line you see you can actually uh, remove the grid line exactly you know you can do a lot of things right here uh, let's come to graph again so we can also have like a histogram right here you can pick any version of histogram that you actually want so we have the stacked histogram we have the frequency polygon we have the population pyramid which you can use to compare uh, two details or two variables in the population so for our histogram can just double click right here then we can just bring in the car length okay then uh, we can set the parameters uh this is where we can actually you know change the size of the beans you know if you want a specified number of beans you can tell it you can 
imputes the width of the bin and just edits the histogram as a oh so let's just put it on automatic we really don't want to do much right here so i think we're done you can also edit this based on the count or histogram percentage or anything just choose what suits you and then you click on ok and it gives you this beautiful histogram you know it also have this data right and this information right here about the data so we have the main the standard deviation and you know the size of the data set you can also edit this so um let's talk about um okay the box plots the area chart all of those are things that you just use let's talk about the box plot so for the box plot we can actually see a couple of variations so i'm going to like just click on this okay so it asks us for the x as x so just put any numerical variable right here okay and uh, it gives you a 1d box plot of car height and when you click on okay you see this you can edit it the way you want to do and details like that the same thing works for all of the data viz tool that we have right here just pick it understand each of them that is the key make sure that you understand what each of them do when to use them and how to use them and playing around all of those you know variations right here is going to be like easy and very you know simple for you to get so that is all about visualizing data set on ibm spss i hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you learned something new please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on your post notifications to get notified when i release new video thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now